What's up guys? We are having a do it yourself project on how I made this really cute and jelly list backdrop. Um so to get started you need your lace fabric, you need fabric or a t shirt, um you need your scissors, a tape roll, thread, chalk, sewing needle, and of course you need to a sewing machine. And now let's get started. To get started, you need to spread out your fabric or t shirt. I used a t shirt though, but you don't have to use a t shirt. If you are using a t shirt, you only need the front or the back side of your t shirt. You cut out the side you want to use. After spreading out your fabric or t-shirt, you place or lay it down and you place on it a harmless top or a top you have before. Make sure that this top is your exact size. Then you trace it out with a chalk. Make sure you are tracing it on the wrong side so you won't have to write on the right side of your fabric. Then, when you are when you are done doing this, you just cut it out. Then, to to know to have an accurate measurement of my waist, I basically measured my waist just to get the exact one I want. So it is good to use a fabric scissors to for an, for it to be convenient for you to cut your fabric. You can see the way I'm struggling with cutting the fabric. It will be more easier for you to cut your fabric when you use the fabric scissors. So I think I'm going to get one pretty soon. But it's advisable for you to use it. Though you can use anything you have.
So the next thing you want to do is to fold your lace in half and also you take the t-shirt you cut previously and fold it in half also. And the next thing you will do is to put the folded t-shirt or fabric upon the folded lace. Then you cut it out. Make sure you cut it to look exactly the same way. Then at the bottom of the lace, you have to make it look round to look like the shape of an half. That's to make it have a bit, to have this same look it's having in this video. Um, I forgot to add this, and um, the lace is going to be longer than the t-shirt. So you just need some length, like 10 to 12 inches longer, it's okay. It all depends on what you want. You can make it longer, it still be okay. So.
Now, I cut out the neck of the t-shirt and shape the hip loose. I didn't do that before. Then, I did the same thing to the lace. I shape the neck of the lace small, so I noticed it doesn't really look in shape and then I have to make the upper part of the lace look thinner so it can extend more to the front um, yeah. oh, that's it. Type of the lace thinner and longer, so the lace will extend to the front. So it's really important to like for you to have that effect. You have to make the size, the stripe of the lace like kind of thinner and just extend it right to the front. going to have a V shape at the back. It will be a deep cut V shape and I didn't know it wasn't really showing well but I think when it's placed on the floor it, it will, you, you have a better view of it. Um, anyway, the bottom is going to have this round like look. It's going to have a round shape like I think you can see it here. Place the fabric or your t-shirt fabric on the lace and pin the hams together or pin the stripes together and you can wear it to check if it fits. So make sure you cut the bottom of your t-shirt round also just, just to make it look like the bottom of the lace too so it can fit well. Then you should check how it fits on your body so you know whether to adjust it or to leave it like that. If it fits, then turn along, you're ready to sew it. If it doesn't fit, then you need to readjust. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget, love is fun. Try as much as possible to love everyone around you. And um, to see more of my fashion DIY like this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe.